professionally, I did nothing. I mean, I, I, I was going to do a movie, and it didn't work out, unfortunately. Um, but I, then I was kind of like, I got all this time off. Awesome. So I had three weeks off. I had four weeks off in total. Three weeks I went to Vancouver, and for a week I went to the Caribbean. It was pretty amazing. I was super excited to come back. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if it was going to be like crazy. You know, there was all these rumors and all this drama. And, and then I came back to work and it was just, just like I had never left. So it was, it was lovely to get back. And I, I think all of us had enough time off because we were working super hard before the break. And we went away and, and we all had enough time off to kind of recharge the batteries so that we could put them into our Glee flashlight and shine it at the world. Do you like that metaphor there? Do you like that? That's good. I think Finn is Finn is an easy character to miss because he's very affable. He's very um, aw shucks. You know, there's that quality about Finn. It's just, it's really, it's easy to miss. It's you miss, you would miss that if, if a relative was like that and then they, they left, and you'd miss them. So Finn's like my my cousin, like my relative that goes away for summers and I miss him. Season three feels very uh, back to basics. It feels like um, the show is returning to like a very uh, more kind of linear way of writing. It feels like it's all about core characters rather than like, you know, in the second season we did a lot of, you know, uh, a tribute episodes, things like that, which are big and, you know, huge production numbers and stuff like that. It feels like it's a bit of a, a return to a more uh, local feeling show. We will be revisiting uh, the Beth Puck, uh, Shelley Corcoran storyline, which is, I think is a really interesting storyline that didn't get enough attention in, in the second season at all. Uh, so it's really cool to see them kind of picking that up. We're going to be having a lot more new characters on the show. There's going to be people coming from the Glee Project. There's going to be coming people coming from uh, who knows where, man. I came from Canada. People come from all over the world to do this show. So lots of new characters this season. To, but I think to expand the, the central group, it's, it's not, I don't think it's going to be too divided. It's not going to be too you know, indecisive in the story. I think it's going to be a little more focused. Vanessa Lengis, who's also from Toronto, uh, a friend of mine for years, is playing Sugar Mata. And yeah, we go way back. Me, we had a bunch of friends in common in Canada. And whenever you know somebody from Canada and they come and they're on your show, all of a sudden you're friends. It's kind of how it goes. It's good. It's good. And uh, and uh, Lamarcus Tinker, who who's done a lot of things actually. I was looking on that IMDb. He's done a lot of stuff. And uh, he's coming onto our show as well to play uh, Mercedes' new man friend. So hopefully he plays his cards right. He's in the show for a long time. <laughs>